So now it's time for us to get some practice with an application of the forward Euler method. This time we've defined a function for you called trajectory that's going to determine the trajectory of a particle. We've already set the step size, the acceleration due to gravity, and the initial speed of the particle. Inside the definition, we've created an array called angles that starts out at 20 and increases with increments of 10 up to 70. This creates a set of angles at which the particle can take off. Over here, we see an example of what a ballistic trajectory of a particle with a given initial angle might look like. The next step is to create variables for position and velocity. Each of these is an array with a number of rows equal to the number of steps that are going to be taken, plus one, and two columns. Your job is to find equations for the position and velocity of the particle that show how changing the initial takeoff angle of the particle changes its trajectory. Fill in your code here, and good luck.